Hello, and welcome to the seventh video in this Leak Code and C Sharp series. In this video, we're going to be doing the challenge called Reverse Integer. So let's get started and let's do this challenge. So, given a signed 32 bit integer, x return x with its digits reversed. If, re if reversing x causes the value to go outside the signed 32 bit integer range, return 0. Okay, that sounds easy enough. So we'll start off with turning the integer into a string. Goes x dot to string. So we do that. Let's make it a string of the number. I should have actually looked at the examples here. So if you have the integer 123, returns 321. Negative 123 returns negative 321. And 120. Okay, it returns 21, so it starts off with, with a 0. If it ends with a 0, then it doesn't count. Okay. So, okay, so if it's a negative number, when you turn it to a string, it's going to have the negative sign at the beginning. But then if you... What I was going to do is with this string, is reverse it. But if it's a negative number, then the negative sign is going to be at the very end. So what we'll actually do is... Bool is negative equals x less than 0 and then what we'll do is if is negative x equals x times negative 1 so I'll make it positive and then we can reverse like this and it will no longer have the negative sign but then we can add the negative to the beginning of it now actually we'll have not reverse it yet um, Let's look up how to reverse. I'm not certain how to reverse strings in C sharp. Although I think I did in a previous video. Oh yeah, that's right. This is in a previous video. I think this is what I did before. So we'll just do string reverse x. So do x to string. Now we'll do to character away, then we will reverse that, and then we'll turn it into a string. Okay, so we've now got the reverse string, and now let's see what happens. C sharp convert string to int I also want to look up C sharp string number with zero prefix convert to int that's right int dot pass and that's right it's also possible if the number might be greater than int so check if string num number is valid int 32. Well, let's start off with just a little bit here. So int reverse num equals int 32 dot pass. Or maybe you want to do try pass for this. Okay, I think this is what we're looking for. Okay, yeah, we'll grab this first example. We'll do that. So, so we're doing out reverse number. I'm doing string reverse here. So for now, we'll just do if is not is numeric return, did I say return 0? Yeah, return 0. Then we'll do return is negative, if it's negative we'll do reverse num times negative 1 otherwise just reverse num. So let's give this a shot. 
what did I do? Line six. Ah. Not sure why I did a semicolon there. Okay. Also line nine. What's the issue here? Error use of unclined undeclared identifier array. Oh yeah, I might have Okay, I'm going to see mm, Okay, I think maybe we can just do this, remove that, then two character array. Like this, maybe. Let's try that. Oops, did a couple of X. Okay, now let's try. Error member reference space type int is not structural union. Okay, let's just look up. Convert into string. I thought I already did look that up. Okay, I'm not sure what the issue is then. So we've got x. That's fine. Member reference space type int is not a structural unit. I have no idea what that means. Let's just see if adding parentheses like this does anything. Just a wild guess. Okay, I've never seen that error before. Let's just look it up. Well, that's not very useful. Oh, it's C++. Okay, let's go C sharp and C... Okay, let's go back, hopefully. Okay, cool, we didn't delete everything. Um, okay, we'll quick, we'll cut everything we've done so far and put it back into C sharp. Okay, hopefully that's the reason why I was getting some errors. So I was not expecting... Okay, <laughs> I thought it was C sharp, but I guess not. Okay, now let's run. Invalid expression term string. This might new string. Okay, line eleven. Ah, oh, of course. Line sixteen. Oh, added a semicolon there. Okay, hopefully that's the last of the errors. Cannot convert from system collection to car. Okay, I think this is where the array dot reverse. Okay, that was a C plus plus error. The reason why that wasn't working. Well, I'm ho that's what I'm hoping it was the reason. Okay, let's see. Still an issue. Cannot convert from void to car. I'm not sure. Let's see, character 41. Let's look at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try add parentheses around here. So, I thought it was being clever by doing just on one line instead of doing multiple, but maybe I need to. Okay, that's not working. I'm just gonna grab this line again and hope that fixes it. So we got the character ray, which is going to be x to string into character array. Okay, this is okay. Th this is the issue. It returns void because it affects the values inside. It doesn't return any numbers. Okay, that makes sense. So hopefully, this is all that we need to do. And now it should run. Hopefully. Okay, wrong answer. What? That returns zero. This one what? Okay, the one which I thought would fail didn't fail. Why is it outputting zero? Oh, I'm using the wrong boolean there. Is numeric. Okay, now let's give it a shot. That should work now. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Those all worked. Now let's submit. Value is either too large or too small for an int32. Okay. Oh, I still got this reverse num one up here. It should just be zero. Okay, now let's give it a go. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's 
at the very end over here only beats 5% but you know what it works so I'm not going to complain. If you enjoyed watching this League Code and C Shop series make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that are added to the series.